You asked for a nighttime routine that incorporates a chemical exfoliant, so let's do it. So there's three ways you can add a chemical exfoliant into your routine. Way one is you can use them in the morning and use your retinoid at night. That's what my dermatologist does. The second way is you can alternate nights. You can use your chemical exfoliant two to three nights a week and use your retinoid the other night. Some people also like to take a break one night and just use moisturizer. That's what we've been calling skin cycling. And that's great for people who have sensitive skin, things like rosacea, can't tolerate a retinoid every night. And the third way you can incorporate it is what I do. Definitely not gonna be for everybody, but it is okay to do. A dermatologist and I have busted this myth a thousand times over. It's okay to use these in the same routine if you can tolerate it. If you're acclimated to both and it doesn't bother your skin, I'm going to show you what I do two to three nights a week. So first, of course, I wash my face. Pat dry. And now I hop right into my chemical exfoliant. There's liquid exfoliants. There's ones that you wash off. My favorites are the pads. I do it all over my face and neck. Every single thing I do to my face, I do to my neck and the backs of my hand. Wait two minutes, and then we do the same thing with pad two. The acids are doing their magic. Now, even though this has a step two acid neutralizer, regardless, any chemical exfoliant I use, I always wait at least 30 minutes before moving on. This lets your skin's pH return to normal, and to be totally honest, if I were to apply anything within 30 minutes after using an acid, it would burn my skin, and we don't want that. So the two to three nights that I use my chemical exfoliant, after doing this, this is when I always go and cook dinner. So I come back in about an hour. I'm back, I just ate a bunch of french fries, so let's continue on. So now, this is when I just continue on with my normal routine. We're gonna do some aquaphor, protect those brows, protect this nose. My microblading has faded hardly at all after four years, and I credit it to my aquaphor barrier. A little eye cream, retinoid time, And now if you use moisturizer for irritation on top of your retinoid, you can wait a couple minutes or you can go right ahead and use it. I wanna go get high on my couch, so I'm going to use it. Final glow, and that's it. That's option three of how to incorporate a chemical exfoliant into your nighttime routine. I have a lot of videos like this, including a full morning and night skincare routine. If you missed any of them, they are in my skin routines playlist right on my page. Let me know what you want a tutorial on next.